In this video, I'm going to show you how I've overclocked my ASUS ROG Strix 3060Ti. Um, so first thing that I'll start off with is the overclock settings. The program that I use for that is MSI Afterburner. Um, so I'll go through some of the settings that I've used. So first off, core voltage, I've set that to 100%. I've done a little bit of research into this. Apparently, it doesn't really make too much difference, but I just set it on, on, on 100. The next thing is the core clock. So I've got that set to plus 130. And then the memory clock, I've got set to plus 950. Uh, with the memory clock, what I did find, once you sort of reach a once you reach sort of like plus a thousand it can tend to be a little bit iffy and start to be unstable so i've backed it off and i found that plus 950 seems to be a pretty good sweet spot um same goes for the core clock plus 130 i have found i can go higher up to like 150 160 but then i've sort of backed it off uh just to 130 just you know just, just for the stability um, another thing to note as well, not sure if it's just me or not, but I have found that when I do go over plus 100 for the core clock, for some reason Warzone tends to get DirectX crashes, not sure sure if that specifically relates to, to that game, but every other game that I play like Battlefield and Forza 5 Horizon, I don't have an issue with it on uh, plus 130. Next thing to look at is the power limit, so obviously you want to be maxing that out, and same goes for the temp limit as well when you do up your your power limit it should automatically adjust your your temp limit as as well next thing that's a big one is your fan speed so i'll just go in and show you the uh the fan curve that i've done myself that i find works quite good for me so this is the fan curve which i've got uh if the gpu is 40 degrees or less pretty much the fans will be off um and then as you can see as it does start to sort of warm up 50 60 degrees that's when i've got it that you know jumps into 40 percent fan and then 50 percent fan and then pretty much once it gets to nearly 70 70 degrees it's at a 70 percent fan speed just for a little bit of insight when i'm playing games like uh, battlefield or forza 5 horizon or even warzone i generally don't really see the temp levels going uh, above sort of 61 62 degrees all right so that's the fan curve next thing is um i suppose just a few a few programs that I've, I've used in the past just to kind of do a bit of a benchmarking test uh, for instability test to, to make sure that the overclock settings have worked so in the past i've used heaven benchmark i quite like using that using that um only downfall is i don't believe it puts enough load on your gpu card so that's just something just to keep in mind but it'll give you a pretty good baseline um next one is uh combustor so you can down download that from msi so you'll actually see here with msi afterburner there's a section here um so i haven't actually got it installed yet um because um I don't, haven't been using it as of lately, but the benchmarking and stress test software that I'm, that I'm going to be using is a 3D Mark Time Spy. So 3D Mark and Time Spy, it, I believe there is a free demo version that you can download, but um, if you if you have got Steam, I think they've got it on sale at the moment for like ten or twenty dollars. So you could look look at using that because um, I do find Time Spy it's pretty good and it does put plenty of load on your actual card so enough of me talking i'll get into this so you can just sit back and uh watch
it's all finished now. So um, this is actually what I like about Time Spy. It has some really good monitoring which goes on whilst it's doing the, the benchmarking and uh, it gives you some really good sort of insight into how your card is actually performing. So you can see it's given me a Time Spy score of 11,493. In all honesty, I've got no clue if, if that's a good score or not. I'd probably have to compare the result on, online in, in order to see. But um, I'm not too fussed about the actual score. Or I just want to be able to play games. So um, so you can sort of see there. Estimated game performance, Battlefield 5 at 1440p, 115 frames or, or higher basically pretty much. Um have a look at maybe GTA 5 because I know that's quite demanding. So at 1440 reckons above 70, and then and then at 1080 above 105. So yeah, it's quite quite interesting how it sort of uh, how it how it automatically calculates it all. So yeah, um, we'll have a quick look at the monitoring so you can sort of sort of see here. Um, so we we were pretty much maxing out. 2040 megahertz for the gpu clock that appears to be quite sort of stable uh, for quite a long period of time then once it got into the second test looks like it was 2040 again and then once it got to the third test it looks like it actually dropped down just a tad 2025 um could have potentially been maybe if the you know if the gpu temperature was starting to get quite high it might have just knocked it back a tad. Um, as I had mentioned before with temperatures and things like that, I've never ever had any issues with temperatures in, in the past. Um, all my games, they all tend to run in the very low 60 degrees. So I, it wouldn't surprise me if whilst doing the benchmark through the 3D Mark Time Spy that temperatures may have gotten quite high just because it does put a lot of load on your, on your GPU card. So looking at the frames, so it looks like we had a max of 102 for, for the first test and then we had 67 for the, uh, for the lowest. So we'll look at the second test. So it looks like lowest was probably about 47 on the second test and then highest, it looks to be about sort of 90, I'd say. Yeah. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. Temperatures, you can you can see temperatures actually sort of pretty steady actually. So we've got what 68, 69. Uh, looks like yeah we're maxing out at 70. That's still pretty pretty good though. Like if if you look at that curve, that's fairly straight. So I'm pretty happy with that. So um, like I could probably even turn up the fans just that little bit more, which might knock back another degree or two off. So I might even look at doing something like that. Um, and then, and then, yeah, then, then you've got the percentage in the, in the frequency. So it's just, show, the percentage is basically just showing the actual GPU load. So you can see during test one and two, there was a, yeah, pretty much 99% load. So, and then on the frequency, you can see basically it's just a carbon copy of what we sort of saw up in the summary further up. So, um, look, I'm happy with, with that. So, um, if you know if you're looking at trying to get to 2040 megahertz out of your 3060 ti i would recommend to try those, those settings um especially if you've got a, a zeus rog strix because um yeah you can see look there's definitely potential to even do more however i've done these settings like this just because i want it to be stable and i don't want to be getting any crashes during games and so far touch wood i haven't had any issues so hopefully this helps some of you I'm sure some of you will leave comments, um, but yeah, if you sort of see anything in these graphs which you think needs to be called out, please let me know.